So me, a developer, machine learning researcher, how do I, Lex Friedman, participate in this competition? And how do others, which I'm sure there'll be a lot of others interested in participating in this competition. What are, uh, let's see, there's like a million questions, but like first one is how do I get started? Well, you can go to numero.ai, sign up, download the data. And on the data is pretty small. Um, in the data pack you download, there's like an example script, Python script, that just builds a XGBoost model very quickly from the data. Uh, and um, so in a very short time, you can have an example model. Is it a particular structure? Like what uh, is this model then submitted somewhere? So there's it needs to be some kind of structure that communicates with some kind of API. Like how does the whole, yeah. how, do, how does the, your model, once you built it, once you create a little, little baby Frankenstein, yeah. how does it then live in its in Okay, the well, we, we want you to keep your baby Frankenstein at home okay. and take care of it. We don't want it. Okay. So we, you never upload your model to us. You always um, only giving us predictions. So we never see the code that wrote your model, which is pretty cool. Yeah. That our whole hedge fund is built from models where we've never ever seen the code. Um, but it's important for the users because it's their IP. Why would yeah. they want to give it to us? That's brilliant. So they've got it themselves, but they can basically almost like license the f the predictions from that product to us. <laughs> license the predictions. Yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> think about it. What some users do is they set up a. Uh, co compute server and we call Numeri Compute. It's like a little AWS kind of image. Mm -hmm. And you can automate this process. Um, so we can ping you. We can be like, we need more predictions now. And then you you send it to us. Okay, cool. So th that's, uh, is that described somewhere like what the preferred is, the AWS or whether on another cloud platform? Is there, I mean, is there sort of specific technical things you want to say that comes to mind that uh, is a good path for for getting started. So download the data, maybe play around, see if uh, you can modify the basic uh, the, the algorithm provided in the um, example. And then you what set up a little server on AWS that then runs this model and takes pings and then makes predictions. And uh, so how does your own money actually come into play doing the stake uh, of um, uh, cryptocurrency? Yeah, so you don't have to stake. You can start without staking. And many users might try for months uh, without staking anything at all to see if their model works on the real life data, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and is not overfit. Um, but then uh, you can get Numeraire uh, in many different ways. You can buy it on... Um, you can buy some on Coinbase. You can buy some on Uniswap. You can buy some on Binance. Um, so what, what did you say? This is, uh, how do you pronounce it? So this is the Numerai uh, cryptocurrency. Yeah, NMR. NMR. What's, is, you just say NMR? It is It is technically called Numerare. Numerare? I like but, it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, NMR is simple. <laughs> NMR and Numerare. Okay, so, and you could buy it, uh, you know, basically anywhere. Yeah, so it's a bit strange because sometimes people are like, is this like pay to play? Right. And it's like, sort it's like, a, yeah, yeah, you need to put some money down to show us you believe in your model. Right. But uh, weirdly, we're, we're not selling you the, like you can't buy the cryptocurrency from us. Right. It's like, it's also, we never, if, you're, if you do badly, um, we destroy your cryptocurrency. Okay, that's not good, right? You don't want it to be destroyed. But what's good about it is it's also not coming to us. Right. So it's not like we win when you lose or, or something. Like, like right. we're the house. Like we're definitely on the same team. Yes. You're helping us make a hedge fund that's never been done before. Yeah. So again, interests are aligned. There's no, uh, there's no tension there at all, which is, which is really fascinating. You're giving away everything and then the IP is owned by uh, sort of the, the code. You never share the code. That's fascinating. Um, so since I have you here and you said a uh, hundred, I didn't ask out of how many, so we'll just, <laughs> <laughs> but if I, if I then, once you get started and you find this interesting, uh, how do you then win or do well, but also how do you potentially try to win if this is something you wanna take on seriously from the machine learning perspective, not from a financial perspective? Yeah, I think um, the first of all, you want to talk to the community. People are pretty open. 
Uh, we give out really interesting scripts and ideas for things you might want to try. Um, and uh, But you're also going to need a lot of compute probably. And so some of the best users are, are you know, actually the very first time someone won I, on Numerai, I would I wrote them a personal email. It's like, you know, you've won some money. We're so excited to give you $300. And then they said, I spend way more on the compute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you so this is fundamentally a machine learning problem first, I think, is this is one of the exciting things. I don't know if we'll, in how many ways we can approach this, but really this is less about kind of, no offense, but like, finance people, finance minded people. They're also, I'm sure, great people. But it feels like from the community that I've experienced, these are people who see finance as a fascinating uh, problem space, source of data, but ultimately they're machine learning people or AI people, which is a very different kind of flavor of community. And um, I mean, I, I should say to that, uh, I'd, I'd love to participate in this and I will participate in this. And I'd love to hear from other people. If you're listening to this, if you're a machine learning person, you should participate in it and tell me, uh, give me some hints um, how I can uh, do well at this thing. Cause this boomer, uh, I'm not sure I still got it, but <laughs> cause some of it is, uh, it's like uh, Kaggle competitions. Like some of it is certainly set of ideas like research ideas. Yeah, like fundamental innovation, but I'm sure some of it is like deeply understanding, getting like an intuition about the data. And then like a lot of it will be like figuring out like what works, like tricks. I mean, you could, you could argue most of deep learning research is just tricks on top of tricks, but there's uh there's some of it is just the art of getting to know how to work on a really difficult machine learning problem. And I think what's important, the important difference with something like a Kaggle competition, where they'll set up this kind of toy problem, and then there will be an out of sample test, like, hey, you did well out of sample. And this is like, okay, cool. Um, but what's cool with Nimura is you're, you're, the out of sample is the real life stock market. Mm -hmm. we, we don't even know. Like, we don't know the answer to the problem. Yeah. We don't, like, you'll have to find out live. And so we've had users who've who've like submitted every week for for like four years, um, because it's kind of a interest. It's a it, we say it's the hardest data science problem on the planet, right? And it sounds maybe sounds like maybe a bit too much for like a marketing thing, but it's the hardest because it's the stock market. Yeah. It's like literally there are like billions of dollars at stake, and like no one's like letting it be inefficient on purpose. So if you can find something that works on Numerai, you really have something that that is like working on the real stock market. Yeah, because there's like humans involved in the stock market. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you could argue there might be harder data sets like maybe predicting the weather, all those kinds of things. But the the fundamental statement here is, which I like, I was thinking like, is this really the hardest data science problem? <laughs> and you, you start thinking about that, but ultimately it also boils down to a problem where the data is accessible it's made accessible, made really easy and efficient at like submitting algorithms. So it's not just, you know, it's not about the data being out there, like the weather. It's about making the data super accessible, making the ability a community around it. Like this is what ImageNet did. Exactly. Uh, like it's not just, there's always images. The point is you aggregate them together, you give it a little title, there's a community. And that's, that was, one of the hardest, right, for a time, uh, and most important data science problems in, in the world, uh, because it was accessible, because it was uh, made uh, sort of like, there was uh, mechanisms by which like standards, and mechanisms by which to judge your performance, all those kinds of things. And numerize, actually I step up from that. Is there something more you can say about why, from your perspective, it's the hardest, uh, problem in the world. I mean, you said it's connected to the market. So if you can find a pattern in the market, that's a really difficult thing to do because a lot of people are trying to do it. Exactly. But there's also the the biggest one is it's, it's non-stationary time series. We've tried to regularize the data so you can find patterns uh, by by doing certain things to the features and the target. But ultimately, you're in a space where you don't 
there's no guarantees that the out of sample distributions will uh, conform to any of the training data. And, and every single um, era, which we call on the website, like er every single era in the data, which is like sort of showing you the order of the time. Um, it's, it's even the training data is, has these same, same dislocations. And, um, so it, yeah, it, it's, and then so, it's, and then there's, you might, yeah, there's so many things that might, um, might, you might want to try this, this like there's unlimited possible number of models. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and so w by, by having it, um, be open, uh, we can at least search that space. 